After Hiroshima and Nagasaki, United States, Great Britain, and Soviet Union conducted tests and developed more powerful nuclear weapons. In May 1955, the United States Disarmament Commissioner brought the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, France, and the Soviet Union to begin negotiations on nuclear weapon testing. JFK supported the ban since 1956. He did not resume air testing and promised to pursue all diplomatic efforts for a test ban treaty before resuming underground testings. President Kennedy met with Soviet Premier Khrushchev in Vienna in June 1961, just five weeks after the humiliating defeat of the United States. Soviets continued to do underground testing. This pressured Kennedy to resume testing. American testing resumed April 25, 1962. After the Cuban Missile Crisis in October 1962, President Kennedy and Premier Khrushchev realized that they were dangerously close to nuclear war. On July 25, 1963, after 12 days of negotiations, the two nations agreed to ban testing in the atmosphere, in space, and underwater. The next day, the agreement was announced on TV. The Limited Nuclear Test Ban Treaty was signed in Moscow on August 5, 1963 by U.S. Secretary Dean Rusk, Soviet Foreign Minister Andrei Gromosky, and British Foreign Secretary Lord Holm, one day short of the 18th anniversary of dropping an atomic bomb on Hiroshima. Awesome. The treaty prohibited nuclear weapon testing or any other nuclear explosions underwater, in space, or in the atmosphere. It also allowed nuclear tests underground as long as the radioactive debris does not fall outside of the boundaries.